Let's just let's see if we can get this going live. Give the people, give the people the air, give the people the air, Cohagen. What's up, y'all? <clears throat> What's up, exposing powerful lies? What's up? <clears> How <throat> are you? I look at all the beautiful people. We're talking about Yay. We're talking about Tim Cass. We're talking about Resident Evil Live. What else could you be doing at this time? A night. <clears throat> if not doing this, right? And <clears throat> the uh, other Resident Evil stream was fairly well received. And since I'm still <clears throat> fairly sick, I thought, why not just keep it wild? I mean, I'm getting messages. People are messaging me like, what's going on? What does all this mean? I'm like, dude, I don't know what's going on. You think I know what any of this means? I'm just a humble conspiracy theorist. <laughs> and I sound extremely Southern. <clears throat> it's because it's <clears throat> evening time and I'm sick. You would become a true believer to, so, to cite Mullah Ram. Alright, let's see. I gotta get... Show description, and then we'll start playing. Resident Evil remake was too hard, dude. So I'm going to play something easier. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to reflect on tonight's discussion. Everybody in the chat saw it. Welcome, everybody. It's just a chill stream. We had a good time doing a chill stream the other night. So I thought, <clears throat> since I'm enjoying playing it, why not join it and play it with my fake internet friends? You are all my fake internet friends. And even though you don't have real existence, in my head you do. Is the audio good? Can y'all hear me good? <laughs> I'm on PS4, so I'm playing uh, on PS4, and you can support the show <coughs> via Super Chat Functions. We had fun the other night. I played. I was like, you want to make $50 playing video games an hour? Sure. Sign me up. Yeah, I'm on a dang headset. Like, like Mr. Medicare over here. It's Medicare style. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> I like this uh, Spanish. This uh, wise old Spanish man here. You look, he's like that meme of that dude, that Dos Equis suit, right? Remember that? <clears throat> Do I eat lettuce? Only if you mean dollar bills. Yes. Make sure I got the sound right. She is an elite doctor, too, Bob. She's elite operative of OPP? <laughs> I'm not eating the mic, baby. I was just drinking coffee. <clears throat> nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. I thought he was a Spanish man. He's a Russia man. That's Dugan right there. That's Dugan. Dugan's like, How's that going for you? We will invade the country through the Resident Evil games. <clears throat> Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. General Alexander Dugan. So what did y'all think of the interview? That wasn't that wild? It was like... Serious losses. Just it went from like 40,000 to uh, 100,000 <laughs> live viewers and then it like I was like I was sitting there watching and thinking when is this interview going to be cut off right at any moment this interview is going to cut off right <clears throat> and I'm trying to figure out what's going on with all of this right some people are saying oh this is like a, a way to divide the dissonant right and 
Uh, I mean, I kind of think this at right was done a long time ago, wasn't it? Um, but is that some new machination to try to divide uh, the Trump base just from a practical standpoint? Some people are saying that. Some people are saying people are tired of Trump. I know what a radio is. And the Tradunka Dunk could be. Yes, I'm playing with a headset, dude. Literally, like Medicare style. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. I'm about right. to go get some Dino bites. That's what I want. And I want to watch this alien TV show. What is? Oh, that's a that's a ad. Never mind. Shit, Captain. They really took a chunk out of you. Chadunka no. So what did y'all think about the, the interview? You y'all would rather vote for Yay over Trump? <laughs> it's gonna be wonderful, really. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be crazy. I don't understand. We got so many wonderful people. It's gonna be great. It's awesome. It's really wonderful. It's really great. <clears throat> I can't really do Trump right when I'm sick. Science. Shit. I'm gonna go into that, dude. <laughs> the science form. They got, ne and they got the comic book forum next to the science forum. <laughs> so I think we got what we're gonna be voting for the Kanye campaign. Could Kanye beat Trump? I mean, people are people are acting like Kanye could actually win. I'm like, I don't know about all that. No, Americans are not gonna vote for. I mean, we're almost at the point where we would vote for a rapper, which I think is funny. It's, I mean, why not? Like, just, just go on and end this whole system. <laughs> let's, let's bring all the rappers in. I want a cabinet of straight rappers. Okay, I want LL Cool J to be in charge of what? Uh, pink, pink cookies and plastic bags getting crushed by buildings. I want Soldier Boy over there to be in charge of. Uh, Minister of Health. Did I miss any guns? She got. A, she doesn't have any ammo. She's not gonna do anything. I feel like I missed some ammo down here. Who else? I want. Um, there's no ammo down here, is there? So you tell me this freaking dying boomer over here can't give me ammo when they want me to go face zombies with my girl power. They want me to go slay queen, but I don't have any ammo. How's that going to work? Who else? What other rappers would put in a cabinet? Right? It'd be a damn gold cabinet. It'd be a tricked out cabinet. We got Soldier Boy. We got, we got your boy uh, LL Cool J in charge of buildings, Joe, architecture. Soldier Boy in charge of health. Working on it. So what's the Who point? else? We're going to put uh, Special Ed. Remember Special Ed? We'll put him in charge of education. <laughs> get it? Y'all get that joke? That's over everybody's head. That's okay. Um, got to snort a little bit of that gunpowder. Brown, brown. Do a little bit of brown, brown. the heck is she doing? <laughs> She's ducking and jiving. Chucking and jiving. Uh, how do you... I don't remember how to play this. How do you... Uh, can I not open that right now? Get it later. <laughs> lockpick. I got a lockpick. <clears throat> Welcome everybody. If you would, hit like and share. How do you do the freaking punch? It's been years since I like a year since I played this, so I don't remember the buttons. Okay, so she can chuck and job, but she can't kick. Somebody remind me of the button. Like, what is it? Everybody's making fun of me when I was playing this other day. Look, he can't play it. Well, I can't remember. I can't remember every button. Who's some more rappers to put in the? <clears throat> I don't think the stream live show up on here, but I will read your super chats. We got a rapper's cabinet. We got special ed in charge of special ed. We got uh, P 
PM Dawn in charge of spirituality. He's a religious leader. Set adrift on memory bliss. PM Dawn's running that stuff. Um, hold on, y'all. It's making me bang, freaking verify to log in to Streamlabs. Verification code, yeah, here we go. So, <clears throat> how do you kick the freaking boxes, dude? It's funny to remind me. Somebody needs to tell me what to remind me how to kick. I don't remember to kick the dang boxes. I'm having to re-authenticate my freaking Google to get into Streamlabs because for whatever reason I'm kicked out of it for right now. You know, so I'll have to read your super chats next time. Yeah, I saw the Laura Loomer leaks and all that. <clears throat> Laura Loomer and Milo uh, are not on good terms. They don't like each other. There was a... A, a leak. Did y'all see that? <clears throat> Wait, what is this? What do you mean? I'm playing Resident Evil. I just had to try to sign into my Streamlabs, which I can't do that until tomorrow, so... Y'all have to put up with, uh, I can read it from the desktop. I don't know, that's another way to do it, I think. So if you are sending Super Chats, I'll read those in just a second. I have to open up the desktop. <clears throat> Help me pick out the rapper's cabinet. It was pretty wild, wasn't it? He was, uh, saying all kinds of crazy stuff. Remember to keep the chat, uh, safe. Everybody keep the chat safe. There we go. We're getting some super chats coming through. I see them. Thank you for that. Cravat Rock. He sends ten dollars and he says Jay's gameplay is fire. This guy is on fire. already. Thank you for that super chat, Crab Rock. <clears throat> L2. Oh, I can what the heck is going on? Like why is she not busting? Is my shit wrong? Like if I got something care about so if one orthodox person converts or your priest converts it's, they treat it like they won the whole match <laughs> it's like man we've helped entire parishes come into orthodoxy like an entire parish of people come into Rokor from Rome I mean so the fact that one priest converted uh, I mean I don't know what that kind of stuff happens, so I don't know what to say. Can she just not bust the freaking boxes? Like she needs ammo. Do you understand what I'm trying to do here? And my buttons are not working, so I don't know what the deal is. So 
So if one person converts, they think they've won the game, right? The knife? Oh, does she have to have the knife equipped? That's it. Thank you so much. Forgot about equipping shit. There we go. Alright, so I'm ready to play now. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Thank you guys for that super chat. And yeah, Crab Rock. A touchy subject. Oh, that was from last night. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. Yeah, so I, th I don't know what is going on with this alliance. What do you guys think? Like, who? So Milo set up this alliance, he said, tonight from Colin Alex, which was, I don't think he meant Alex himself, but I think he meant somebody at Infowars. I don't know what, what he was talking about. And then, um, that's how they met up with Kanye. Isn't that wild? Who would have ever thought in this weird... I mean, who turned CERN on this week? You know what I mean? Like, CERN kind of was off and things were normal for a while. And then somebody was like, nah, this shit needs to get spaghetti crazy, right? Throw the spaghetti on the wall. Turn CERN upside down. Put a quarter inside of CERN. And smack it up, flip it, rub it down, right? And then the things just went nuts this week. You've got... Kanye hanging out with Nicholas Fuentes. I mean, what is going on? This is just... I'm starting to think... that... maybe, you know, David Hume said that... how do we know that tomorrow... we won't wake up and the ground turn to quicksand? I mean, I think it will. I think we're at the point where tomorrow... like, the principle of induction is just going to give up. The principle of induction is going to be like, man, this shit is just too too much for me. I quit. I don't... I'm not going to produce the regularity anymore because life is not regular anymore. There's no more regularity. Reaching out to Windagoon. No idea who that is. Now, I think that... Here's the crazy part. So, shout out to Lydia because Lydia, who is Tim's producer... She put out, she tweeted, and if you guys didn't see that, please go retweet that. She tweeted to Cassandra, who's now Tim's scheduler person, that they should have me on. So, this is probably the best chance that I would have to get on Timcast, because at the same time... <clears throat> give me that super soaker. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of Soldier Boy, <laughs> there's the Super Soakers. Uh, this would, like, so we had retweets. I think we had three or four hundred, five hundred likes, three hundred, four hundred likes, whatever retweets. So Cassandra followed me, so she definitely has seen my visage, my beautiful diva visage. Um. the heck break this stupid thing anyway so you see what i'm saying you guys see what i'm saying right this would be this would be the opportunity to get on timcast Carlos, so retweet now. that retweet mine and then retweet the lydia's tweet because it sounds like timcast would have me on which is fire? maybe which is pretty wild this game is too sexual <laughs> you talking about the zombies you got you got a zombie you like them squishy zombies some, uh, we got people in the chat. Got a thing for zombies. Got to put it out. I think. Lot, <clears throat> there's a lot of volatile things laying around in video game world. You ever notice that? There's just a, just a, a whole dang. There's a bunch of crates. There's a bunch of flammables. Just laid out in a very unsafe manner. That's what I'm talking about. Like that right there. 
So yeah, so these things are just getting crazy, and I mean, again, please retweet the uh, Sour Patch tweet and my tweet. Sour Patch is Lydia, who was Tim's producer. So nothing, can't do anything with that. He's talked about Adam Weishaupt, as in you mean our buddy Adam Weishaupt? Isaac Weishaupt, Illuminati Watcher? Are you talking about Adam Weishaupt, the Adam Weishaupt? Is this an analysis stream? We're just kind of chatting. It's a chill stream. I might analyze things, depending upon what things come up. I mean, Resident Evil is pretty packed with quite a bit of predictive programming, so in that sense, yeah, it does have a, it does have a lot of stuff in it, but... I did a whole video on Resident Evil a few years ago, so you can go watch that. Um, there we go. Alright. We're just chilling, we're having fun, joking around. We're talking about, since we're going to be electing rappers president, let's just start picking the cabinet. Like the rapper's cabinet. You know what I mean? So I said we got special ed for education. We got soldier boy for health. Health. H-E-L-F. Health. We got Kanye president. We got... Uh, who else we got? <clears throat> that is a fancy-ass box. I do have to admit. I mean... <laughs> When it said fancy box, I thought maybe it's going to be, you know, a nice, delicate, but no, that's a fancy box. And y'all know, y'all know me when it comes to fancy boxes, right? I mean, I have a heart for fancy boxes. What do you expect from a diva? Alright, let's gotta store my jewels, baby. Fancy box. Pete Davidson for president. I don't think Kanye and Pete Davidson Pete would get along too well. They don't seem to be they don't seem to be uh, too tight right now. Um who else could be who else we put in the rapper's cabinet? Uh Eric B and Rakim. What would they be doing? I ain't no joke. Do 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 That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Again, you know, you got... You got shit just casually strolling about. You got... You got quite a bit of flammable tanks. Quite a bit of combustibles laying about in video game world. It's very practical. It's very helpful. You got a lot of jewels and fancy boxes laid about, too. That's just the way it is. Can we combine these? Somebody said this was a boomer game. I don't, this was a fun game. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Resident Evil is fun. <clears throat> I think like people under 25 don't know what boomer means. They think it's anything above 25 is boomer. <laughs> it's like, that's not what boomer is. And, uh, ah, that legitimately made me, uh, slightly jump a little bit there, so. Give me a break now. He's just trying to give me a hickey. Give me a break, dude. Welcome, everybody. We are doing a chill Resident Evil stream, reflecting on tonight's wild drama. Considering the possibility that I could go on Timcast, perhaps. But I need you guys to help retweet, right? That would help a lot. Get it together. Yeah, get it 
together, baby. Don't know no codes. Alright, let's see what else is going on. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we do need me on that. I'm glad you see it my way. I did it my way. But I think in order for that to occur, we gotta have kind of a um, enough tweets and enough attention. But the good news is that Lydia and Cassandra appear to have noticed me. So that's good. And I think we're going to have uh, Lydia's, uh, she works for a new podcast, so we're going to get uh, him on. He seems like a cool guy. So that's all secret, secret materials for the future. If you would, hit like and share. If you would like to support the fun, chill streams, you can do so by using the Super Jet function. You can also up your manhood and your toxic masculinity points by going to chalk.com and using the promo code J50. And that gives you 50% off. You can, I mean, excuse me, uh, J, and there's also J60 Life, which gives you 60% off recurring subscriptions at the promo code. Uh, at chalk.com, excuse me. <clears throat> um, so I feel like I missed something, because I, I feel like I need a moon donuts. Moon boy. All right. Moon boy donuts. Lazy boys. Zombies are kind of lazy. You ever notice that? Just a little lazy. There we go. Get them on that side. Ha <laughs> ha! Look how dumb they are. When it comes to outwitting zombies, I got that king level cunning, boy. Look at that. <clears throat> Uh, and I'm still just going in circles. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I came from that way. I came from nowhere. I thought I came from nowhere. Okay, that goes up here. And there is not much up here. This thing. Have I ever read uh, Edmund Burke's political theory? Um... I think we had some of that in my undergrad. I think undergrad was my last political theory class. Um, so I think we read some Burke, but that was like probably 2003. So I don't, I don't remember none of that, dude. None of that. But I would probably prefer somebody a little more. That's all there was back here. Was <clears throat> you know a little more? I mean, I know he was Protestant, but yeah, like a little more on the monarchist tip, a little more consistent. Was also a Freemason, right? But he was like one of these so-called right-wing Freemasons, supposedly. I think that's right. I feel like I missed something in here because I'm going in circles. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Super chats flowing. Hey, piggy. Ooh. No, 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 no. Imagine if Kanye hangs out with us. If he reaches out to me. Imagine if that happened and then he does the remix of Pay Piggy. Could you imagine that? Kanye's like, look. Hey, dude. Give me a ho give me some of this Pay Piggy right here. Let me get a hold of this. And I'm like, yes, you may do that. Please offer your remix skills. Imagine where we would be then. Where would we be then? We'd be at a whole new world. Uh, so there was nothing up here? I feel like I'm just running in circles. Lay down, you big old fat ass. You just laid out. Alright, so I was already in here. I guess I gotta go in here. Right. In here? Or is this where I came from? said I came from nowhere yeah this is right I remember this wake up lazy ass zombies if you 
would hit like and share. We're just chilling. Trying to figure out how we're going to get me on Timcast. We have a real possibility of that. But I have to call the soldiers to action. Which just means retweet my shit. That's it. And I'm, I'm kind of just dumbfounded. I mean, I'm kind of like, you know, what kind of CERN alternate verse are we in with this stuff? I mean, it's like, I really, I seriously, I'm just like, I'm watching YouTube videos about, you know, alternate dimensions trying to figure this stuff out. I'm over here watching Chills. I'm watching James LaFleur. <laughs> I'm watching the Impossible Channel. I'm watching. Because now I'm starting to think maybe that's the best answer to what's going on. You know, I'm over. I, I, I'm trying to find answers uh, inside the box, and I need to step outside of the box and step into the fancy box. You know what I mean? Maybe I should take clues from the video game, like a schizo, because I just got a fancy ass box. Maybe that's a clue to life. You need to think outside of the box. You need to. Need to your your life needs to be a fancy box. You know what I mean? This must be the subway company's offices. Oh yeah, I remember this part. This part's a challenge. Look at that little boy right there. He's about to get bopped. Bop bop. All right. Oh man, I don't want to do that. Too. I hate puzzles. I don't hate puzzles, but I kind of do. I don't have that, obviously. <clears throat> I've liked all of these. Uh, the only reason I didn't play Resident Evil 2 Remake was because I just played it. And I also just played 4 not too long ago, so I didn't want to redo that. So this one was the one that was the oldest for me. Like I, I did this when it came out. <clears throat> Thank you guys for those super chats. Much appreciated. Uh, both. We may analyze it and we may do it for fun. We, we do it all. You know what I mean? There's no... We do everything here. Oh yeah, this is where you have to connect the, um, the subway. Remember that. Alright, so there's nothing I can do in here. I got a hose though. already been in there. Did I see Sam Harris? Did I see him where? Yeah, I'm almost at where we're like, right, watch him ban me as soon as I get 99,999 <laughs> that I get banned. Uh, that's probably going to happen. I don't know, but I feel like we should be at like three or 400,000, honestly. Um, but I've noticed a lot of my videos now, they, they freeze at, most videos get 10,000 and they just stop. And then other videos that in the past kind of got algorithmic promotion, kind of don't really anymore. So I think we're just, we're just too hot and spicy, baby. That's it. That's what it is. That's what it amounts to. Practicing those head shots. That's what I'm talking about. She's loaded up on ammo, dude. This is a you don't get many ammos in this game, so. Oh, did Nick Nick mention me recently? That's great. That's good. Yeah. <clears throat> I um Nick used to we would tweet a little more regularly when he was on Twitter. <clears throat> like, what, a year and a half ago? And then when he got banned on Twitter... Oh, this is the way I... No, I've been over here. Damn it. No, I haven't been in here. Yes, I have. We need to dump some of this shit. Uh, hmm. Let's dump that. And then when, when Nick got uh, booted from Twitter, we didn't really have a way to keep up with him. And I think he invited me to a a thing last year, but we had just left Florida, so I couldn't go. But 
yeah, it's just wild to see all this going down. I, I don't, I don't know what to make of it. I mean, I'll say this: like, I think the GOP is a complete waste of time, worthless, useless, stupid. So I certainly don't have any problem with them thinking it's time to destroy the GOP. All right, that's not the right way. It's this way. So that is, uh, I don't see any problem with any of that. <laughs> yeah, get rid of that stupid thing. I mean, that's the, a huge piece of the control, control structure, right? Is these stupid fake parties. And I don't really even care about politics, but... Um, did I go in there? Yes, I've been in there. Is there a freaking map? Welcome to Raccoon City. My mind virus. We got, uh... Well, we got a bunch of super chats. Thank you guys so much. Francis the f of the fifth. Francis of the filth. <laughs> Christian Mario did a video with Ibarra. I saw that today, where they admit Vatican One contra. Wait, what? Ibarra admits Vatican One contradicts earlier councils. What? Eric Ibarra is like Joe Biden. Just let the guy talk, and he destroys himself. Wow. Yeah, I saw they were doing a stream, but I haven't seen it, so I don't know what, what they really talked about. Okay, where do I need to go, man? Just, I remember the first time I played this, I got stuck and I couldn't figure out what to do. I know i got to do something with that hose. Y'all about to get hosed. But I don't know what to do with it, I don't remember. And I'm kind of out of it, so people are like, why are you playing video games? I'm going to expose you. Okay, go for it, because I'm sick and I'm out of it, so... What do y'all do when you're sick? Lay around playing your hipster ukulele? I don't know what you do. Yay Piggy. Three dollars. Chief Keef is chief of staff. That's what I'm talking about. We're trying to pick our rapper's council for president. We got special ed for, for education. We got uh, soldier boy minister of health. Uh, we got two chains going to run economy. Uh, no, that makes sense, doesn't it? Dude's, dude, he doesn't even have one chain. Dad's got two chains, so he knows what he's doing money-wise. You gonna put a guy with one chain in charge of money? No, you're gonna put a man with two chains in charge of change. Exactly, right? Well, I did need that, so we'll take that. And then you got... Oh, come on now. Give me a break. That's why I'm saying this. Bunch of bullshit. Didn't even get me. You got Chief Keef, Minister of what? Chief of Staff. Exactly. Because it's Chief. Get it? Chief Keef, Chief of Staff. I like that. And I can't get in here, can I? Oh my gosh. Okay. He's just running around. He doesn't even know what he's doing. It's something to do with that hose, but I don't remember what to do with the hose. Hose. Boats and hose. Boats and hose. Does anybody remember what to do with the hose? It's something to do with. Oh, she got to put the fire out. That's right. She's like, I need to put that fire out. But where was that fire at? Gotta go find that. Boats and hoes, boats and hoes. If, if, hey, what, hold up. I should be running Minister of Economics because of Pay Piggy. I just realized that in the rapper's cabinet, who wrote Pay Piggy? Me. Greatest improv of all time, probably. What's it about? Economics. So now we're demoting two chains. I'm going to be running. I'm Minister of Economics because I wrote Pay Piggy. Greatest rap song. Greatest improv rap song of all time. I feel like it's something in here that I need to do, right? But I've already been... Right, she went in here. I got a hose. No, it's not in here. Because I can't do shit in here. What am I doing? Okay, where
where's that fire at? Put out the fire, yeah, I know, but I don't remember where the fire is. <laughs> so, so telling me what to do doesn't help me if I don't know where to do what I gotta do. Okay, where does it look like it's burning? See a fire? Is it down there? That's not it, is it? That's not a fire. Whiskey Bravo. Put out the fire. De-escalate. There's a fire. Is that it? That's not it. Is it over here, though? I do like the bass on the voice of these guys. It's kind of sexy, to be honest. That little bit of bass they got. Ooh. Ooh. Get it together. Come on now, get out of my face. Shouldn't take five hits. Get it together. Was the fire over here? No, of course not. Oh, come on now. She looked like a meth head. That's a Tennessee meth woman right there. If I've ever seen one. Come on now. Alright, so the fire is not over here. We know that much. It's not over here. Give me a break now. I hope y'all have enjoyed uh, all of the content of late. I feel like we've been really busting our booties the last two weeks, especially with the intense <coughs> numbers of high quality live streams that we've done. Uh, I mean, it's a f maybe the fire's over here. Isn't it over here? There we go. Yes, there we go. I mean, to get Colonel Dr. McGregor, that was hardcore, right? Tex Mars! Bloodlines of the Illuminati! I forgot about my Tex Mars impression. That's the old school Jay's Nelson's fans. They remember the old, <laughs> the old school Tex Mars impression I did. There we go. Yes, I'm straight up Home Depot now with those bolt cutters. Take me to Home Depot. That's what I'm talking about. What do I do with that jewel? Who will save your soul? Marvin Kaye is my brother, brother. I'm singing jewel. For those that don't know. So... Is it a zombie? I'm assuming. Who will save your soul? Are we Team Lowe's or Team Home Depot up in here? Both companies support anti bigotry, so we should be on the side of whoever is the most just. We're doing it, y'all. Doing it and doing it and doing it. Wow. Who do we we put? L, uh, he's in charge of uh, city planning, right? L. Cool J is in charge of city planning because he's yeah, careful, careful. raps about pink cookies in a plastic on, bag. Like that, right? Get crushed by no, 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 wait, please. So if what the fuck? 
wasn't fifty. He might Tim doesn't care, he's bald. Are y'all talking about Tim Cast? Is that is there is that why he wears the toboggan? I've never known why he wears that. Is that why? Project Pat and so actually, I know about those rappers because I grew up in Tennessee, and in high school, everybody listened to Triple Six Mafia. I got a funny story for you guys from high school. So, <laughs> one time, uh, when all the, this is probably 96, when all the Memphis rappers were super underground popular, right, so, if you guys don't know, Triple Six Mafia and all these people, right, they came from Memphis, and... Everybody in Tennessee back in the 90s loved them because it was like, Tennessee represent, dog. And so, part of their crew was Kingpin Skinny Pimp, who was a somewhat famous but not as famous uh, Memphis rapper. And so, there was a local club here. And all the white kids, all the white boys liked Memphis rap too, right? I didn't really care about it. I'm not, I wasn't a huge fan of Memphis, Memphis rap. Anyway, but this is a funny story. So, uh, a local club called Visions. How lame is that, right? To call your club Visions. Back in the 90s. They decided that they wanted to promote this giant... Oh, man, not these things. I hate these things. Bad boy. Down. Down. Bad boy. So Visions was like, all right, we got a, the biggest uh, Memphis rapper that we could get coming to this weekend to middle of nowhere, Tennessee, blah, 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 right? So like 300 people from the local area descend upon Visions. And everybody is like super high. I was not there for this, although my girlfriend at the time went. So she, this is how I knew about this story. So the dude gets up there, and because Kingpin Skinny Pimp, can you guess how Kingpin Skinny Pimp dressed? Not like a Wall Street businessman. He dressed like a pimp. <laughs> and he was a tall, skinny black dude who dressed like a pimp, right? So because he dressed like a pimp, it was kind of easy to impersonate him. And so Visions found a rapper, or a black dude, nearby that was not an actual rapper, and imp he impersonated Kingpin Skinny Pimp. So there was a fake Kingpin Skinny Pimp who was doing lip syncing the rap. And about three songs into the concert, people realized it was a fake <laughs> Kingpin Skinny Pimp and that he wasn't really rapping. <laughs> and so everybody went nuts and they tow the club up. Literally, like they towed a club up. Tow the club up. Quite literally. I'm not joking. So, that's one of my favorite high school Memphis rap stories. So, hope you enjoyed that. Oh, there he is right there. That's, that's Ziggy Marley right there. No, that was Pete Tosh right there. I'm wanted. Dead or alive. By the evil forces. I said I'm wanted. By the evil forces. Did you guys like the Kingpin Skinny Pimp story? That's a true story. Oh crap, I didn't see her. Oh, get out of my way. Shit. Project Pat. People were always playing Project Pat. I don't know anything about Project Pat. It's kind of an interesting name for a rapper. We we put Project Pat in charge of Black Ops. How's that? In the rapper's cabinet. So we're going to have a rapper's cabinet when Kanye wins. we got to figure out which rappers are going to do what job. So, um, Shock G, Humpty Hump. He's going to be in charge of family values. <laughs> we'll put him on the family values campaign because 
we got a, a negative birth rate. So, uh, Shock G and Humpty Hump will be teaching us how to uh, Humpty Hump, how to make kids. Y'all ever thought about that? How to make kids? If you would hit like and share, we do got some fat super chats already. All these nice, beautiful people who's uh, in the chat. We got uh, Moldy Apple, $3. Tim Cash should be asking you to come on and to come on your, your cast. Okay, he can come on my cast. It is the magic beanie that commands clout. Thank you for that, Moldy Apple. Pastor Yay. Pastor Yay. Shut up, Boomer. Let me talk. That's Jay playing Outcast Part 1 or 2. No, Outlast. Out. What is Outlast? Oh, Jay, please play Outlast. Keep in mind, guys, I'm sick and I'm out of it, so I don't really know what's going on. Um, two parts of that question. That in the debate. I hope everyone is uh, appreciative of my uh, extreme levels of patience that I exercise in that debate. Does anybody... I don't ever get credit for the times that I'm patient. I'll be patient 50 times, right? My lip will be bleeding that I've bitten it so hard, biting my lip for patience. You know what I mean? And then I slip up after 50 minutes of Boomer Oral Boros chasing his own tail rambling and I let it slip stop your boomer rambling and then everybody's like look how mean he is look how mean he is and I'm like man I was patient for freaking 60 minutes <laughs> oh this part's kind of hard I remember this part oh, I was like oh I don't even want to think about it Oh shit, it smells like Chief Keith's bathroom up in here. Woof. She said it's stanky. Hmm. Well, I guess I should have thought more about. Oh, there is a. There's a chest up here. I need to go. She needs to go take a dump in the chest real quick. You know what I mean? stash some items she got her girl items in there she got a little bit of gunpowder a little bit of maxi pads what else would she got some chocolate what else would girls have in the, in the chest the war chest yeah I think the debate was over when he thought that the opening statement of a debate was um, telling stories personal stories like <laughs> when as soon as he started talking I was like oh man and did you notice the like the part about how long he had studied the Bible for four hours every day and that he memorized 2,000 verses and I'm like this is bizarre dude that has nothing to do with what we're talking it's just as soon as he started talking about that I was like all right we're in for a we're in for a hoot this is gonna be a hoot and it was was I was right <laughs> we were in, we were in for a hoot we got a hoot. It was pretty sad the way I got wrecked. Ch Chase is right. My logics could not stand up against the the boomer wisdom, right? Do we got another look at another fancy box? I'm all about these fancy boxes. It's inspiring me to think outside the box. Fancy box number two. Yes. Collect all fancy boxes. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to say. Like half of the debate was him talking about how awesome he is, and I'm like, has nobody ever heard of Preless? <laughs> so it's <was> like, <laughs> Pastor P, Pastor Preless. I thought that was pretty funny. I was laughing when I saw that in the chat. I think, I think Vartan made that joke, and then I'm like. I'm going to have to throw in Master P in here somewhere. Uh, so, did anybody appreciate the Master P question? I, I appreciated it. Appreciate my own jokes. 
I'd make a say, uh, na 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 na. Um, do we need that? I think we do need that thing, don't we? Uh, yes, we do need that. Give me some more junk. Oh man, what else is going on? All kinds of stuff. So I, I noticed Ralph had like over 2,000 live tonight on his live stream. That was pretty crazy because he was live streaming up to um, when Nick was going to be on. So should I pick this lock or should I save it? Because I feel like I can get to the other side of this without this, but then again, I don't know. So, yeah, that was a mistake. Well, I was interested to see what Ralph was saying. <laughs> 2,000, 1,000 bot. I, I don't, I don't, I haven't watched Ralph in a while. No, I'm not mad at Ralph or I just, I don't ever have time for anybody else's streams. But tonight was so crazy because, you know, all the Fuentes stuff. How do I get the parasite out? Is there a way to not get bit by that thing? I think I messed. I feel like I messed up. What is she gonna be? She ain't gonna be able to do anything in here. I forgot this part. This part's hard. Okay, well that's not gonna do anything, is it? That's right. Spit it up, girl. Spit it up. There we go. Uh oh. Spit it up, girl. Spit it up. Oh, not again. Come on now. She need an epicac. I don't think these things ever stop coming, do they? Alright. I gotta turn. Uh, yeah, I need that. Black goo, it does. That's right. The new Resident Evils. They have black goo. They've got it all, though. I want it all. Lisa! You tell me the pie, Lisa! I want it all. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I guess that's the way to go. I remember this part being kind of difficult. Spit it up, girl. Spit it up. Oh, come on now. How are you supposed to do this with these things? Oh, I gotta do four of these? Oh, man. Give me a break. Not another one. Come on. That's what I'm saying. She needs the shotgun for this. This is kind of shitty without the shotgun. There we go. What?
should have known it wasn't that way. Can she do it? I think she can. This is a mess. This place is nasty. There we go. did this, so I don't think it's this way. Yeah, I think it's this way. No, it is not this way. Now I think I need to climb. We're almost there. We only need one more. This is Klaus Schwab's basement. <laughs> We've installed the new filth pools in the basement. There we will grow the new humans. I was on Mike Adams' show uh, yesterday, the Health Ranger, and he was uh, supremely impressed with my Klaus Schwab. He was like, wow, you can do a really awesome Klaus Schwab. There it is. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Where are they at? Yeah, let's do it. shit up here now. Who allowed this to just grow like this? This is kind of gross. This is uh, un keeping things unkempt. Alright. If you guys would, hit like and share and you can also support the show. Yeah, bye. See y'all. Later. Good job. Good boy. Peace out. Uh, you can support me by... Is this the way? Yeah, this is the way out. Yeah, we did it. That's what I'm talking about. By the super chat functions, I'll read the rest of the super okay. chats here in a second. We got a few All more. Um, power switch. All right. There we go. Get it, throw, throw up the rest of the stuff. Yay, Piggy says two chains for Secretary of Treasury. We'll see. I had to change my position on that because I'm. I mean, if I had the best rap song about Pay Piggy, that makes me in charge of monetary stuff. You know what I mean? Do I have to get something in there? Or is that all I had to do there? I was like, is that it? We just had to restore the power for the subway, right? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. See? I did it. Y'all said I wasn't any good. But I did it. I completed the task. Carlos, it's Jill. Proving that I am good. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Thank you guys for the super chats. Really appreciate it. Yay, piggy. No, uh, clinic for three dollars. Would you consider working for the Donda theology program? Uh, yeah. I mean, I said y'all need to let me talk to y'all about orthodoxy. So, but, you know, the, dang, the the hard part is that people that get all into politics, it's really hard for them to focus or talk about the other stuff. So, kind of, politics becomes like an all-encompassing thing. So, um, but, yeah, I would, I would do that. I don't know how many people are going to be interested in orthodoxy, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... <coughs> Trying to figure out, if, do I have to go back now? So I've turned the power on. I think I have to go back now, right? Yeah, bring the trains online in the subway office. Yeah, that's what I thought. Foreign policy. I don't know. Oh, man. This dude sucks. Get out of there. What are you doing? What? I'm a little confused as to what to do with this guy. I don't remember how I beat this. You just gotta run from him, right? Would 
I vote for a pro-life candidate? No, I'm on a... I'm on Team Joe. I'm with her. That's all I'm saying. Beat the boss is how you win the game. That's some pretty solid advice right there, Chase. I, I like that. I'll try to try that strategy out. Beat the boss. I'm pretty sure you got to that dude. Hopefully you can beat him. She doesn't beat him until the end. Like he's the last guy you fight. Alright, so you basically run from him the entire game. Um, stars. Is that what he says? Stars. I'm actually kind of getting a little excited right here. I'm getting a little agitated. I'm going to have to take a, a, a relaxing breath mint or something. That thing is still alive. It's after me. Jamie bought some yeah. breath mints that relax you. I'm going to have to take one of those in a minute. So I'm getting agitated. Relaxation breath mints. There we go. Are you having audio issues? You should be. We should be fine now. By the way, I fixed all the audio issues. Um, the live streams. Did you guys notice that? So in the live stream that we did with Snack and David, all the audio issues are fixed, and that was because there was hidden MIDI controls that I had no idea about. So it was actually two problems, and that's why I couldn't ever get this fixed was that there was two separate problems. I don't have any health to it. Okay, it came from that way. This this is the way, yeah. Oh man, not that guy. Shit. This guy doesn't play fair, does he? Heck, dude. But the subway's not over here, is it? Shit. I would run for president of Chaz and Chop. Anyway, um, we got a super chat from Death Culture for three dollars. Do I watch anime? I do not. Sorry, I know a lot of people are disappointed when they hear that. I don't know anything about anime. I don't know nothing about anime. So all y'all kids with your anime, I don't know nothing about it. I've seen, uh, what's his name? Mio Hayazaki. Remember him? I've seen that. What's that? No! That ain't fair. Give me a break now. There we go. Well, let's see him chase me now. <laughs> oh man. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, Mio Hayazaki. That's my. That's the extent of my anime. How are you supposed to get away from him? Hayo, Hayo Miyazaki? Alright, I'm gonna get to the subway and then I'm gonna quit. Because I'm sick and I'm feeling run down. But hopefully we're having fun. Um, hope you guys, I'm having a lot of fun. I mean, if 
you're going to play a video game, why not get paid $100 an hour to play a video game? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're glad I'm gaming. Thank you, Cody G. Much appreciated. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure why people thought this was such a big, oh, a shocker. He played a video game. I can't believe it. Scandal. Scandal. Exposed. All right. Okay, so I need to get to where I was running to. Do you know where you're going to? And that's just not going to work. Because when she runs over there, he's there. So, I can do this. But then, she need, then he's going to jump in front of me. So, you know what I mean? This is kind of ridiculous. So then he's there. That's, that's just... I don't like that. I don't like that. Why are you gossiping? See? You see what I mean? She, she doesn't run fast enough to get away from him. Maybe we can get away from him inside. That's an interesting theory. Run it on the inside. Oh, there we go. No, we're almost there. Shit. What the heck, dude? No, 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 no. We're right at the door. All right, I'm about to give up. But we made it pretty far, so. Thank you guys so much. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I'll pick back up with Resident Evil 3 next time. And good night. Do we have more Super Chats? Yes. Rodney Atkins says, Hey, that's a country man. He says, Have you played Dead Space? Yes, I did. I beat two, the second and third Dead Space, I think. First and second, whatever it is. A lot of symbolism. Yeah, I don't even remember the symbolism. I might could go back to that one. That that could be fun. Play some of these old games. Um, and then he says, do a quick Google search. Yeah, I played it, dude. I beat those back in the day. 